let's make a candle. I'll show you what we need. I have uh, all different coloured granulated waxes and a few little clip jars. We use the clip jars because they're easy for children to put out and to make. And I've just got a couple of old spoons to put in our granulated wax so that we can use that very easily. Now here's how easy it is if this doesn't fall over. I've got my little container. Let me start with some red. Let me put it in front so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just putting in, there's a few different ways to make these. So this first one, put in a few layers, a few spoon, spoonfuls, till I've got the right, right amount in the bottom. Now let me maybe put in a little bit of yellow. I think there's more on the table now than there is in the jar. Okay. About the same amount. Depends what you want to do. Depends what shape you want it to look like. What I've also used here is a good old chopstick from the kitchen just to help make this a little more decorative. So right next to the edge, up against the glass, I'm just pushing down a little bit. You see how the yellow is just filling in where I was pushing. Keep on going around until it starts to look pretty amazing. Now I'm ready for my next colour, maybe blue. Here's blue. You would normally have one of these set up in the one location so that children don't have to move them around. Again, fill up the blue as much as you'd like to the top of your little candle jar. You can see how the colours are starting to look pretty great. Now that's probably enough in there, but now I'm, I may want to um, maybe get that little dippy look again. So I'm just pushing the blue down into the yellow. I don't have to do it this way, I just leave it in little layers. But it gives it a very artistic look, I'm sure you'll agree. And you can see how quickly I'm doing this, so if you want to take a little longer to do it, to get it looking a little bit more amazing, feel free to do it. I can have that blue, you can see how that's going right down into the red there as well. Now it's all good artists to know, it's always good to know when you're finished. And we've nearly finished. I put that, let's see, let's see what we're up to, a bit crooked, but anyhow. So now I've got a little bit of wax that I've spilt, put it back in the jar. I just need to trim that wick to about the best part of a centimetre long. Done. You'll notice there's still in the top of this candle some um, paper, very thin paper, that comes with these jars. I'll make a little hole in there so that it'll hold the wick in place. Voila, that's how easy that is. You can see a nice artistic version of it. In a minute, I'll make another one that will look 